children's nursing is different from adults nursing very much different you look after the the child and the family and our ethos here at the National Children's Hospital is family-centered care we ask the parents to be partners in the care of the sick child in Ireland we have a high prevalence of uh, cystic fibrosis in the community it's estimated that one in 1600 births will be affected with the condition and the gene um, carrier rate within the Irish community is estimated to be quite high, one in 19 individuals. For the vast majority of the types of cystic fibrosis, there's no cure yet. There is a subtype of cystic fibrosis where there are treatments available. If this sort of treatment can be reproduced for the other types of cystic fibrosis, the horizon is optimistic indeed. In the morning I wake my son at seven and we uh, give him a, a spray to open his airways. And that must take 20 minutes. And the 20 minutes then allows them open and then I, I then set up a neb saline into a nebulizer. And then he, he takes that for another 15, 20 minutes. Um, and this, the saline is very important because the saline solution is going into his lungs to help break up the mucus in his lungs. Um, and then after that, then I allow another 20 minutes. Uh, he has his breakfast, but th then he comes back in again and then we start his acapellas, which are a physiotherapy treatment where he blows into a little um, machine and a uh, device. And what that does is it actually sends vibrations into his lungs, which knocks that mucus off the walls of the, his lungs, um, loosening it. And then he will do that for 40 or 60 of those. He'll do 40 or 60 of those puffs. Um, and following that, then he'll do another, another uh, finishing um, anti-inflammatory uh, he'll take as well. Um, and, and then bearing in mind at breakfast time, he needs a lot of additional uh, supplements because he has an absorption problem. So it means he has to have enzymes uh, because his pancreatic duct is blocked and he needs the enzymes to break down the food. Um, he also has to take additional supplements uh, for, for vitamins and so on and iron and calcium because his body again finds it hard to absorb. So that, there's, that must be done every morning. Um, without fail, before every activity. In the hospital right now, we're working with very difficult times with budgets being cut. So that is why we are so dependent on the Ladies' Guild, just to buy comforts for children and their parents while they're in hospital. The Ladies' Guild has always been very supportive to the National Children's Hospital. And I would like to say on behalf of myself and the staff of the National Children's Hospital, we really do appreciate them and the work they do. Um, I think the key message is that we ourselves are on a journey with our son. Um, he has a hard task in his life to try and keep his health always at a good standard. All of us take it for granted that we can breathe normally and eat normally, but for him it's an everyday task that has to, he has to look after. I think we couldn't do this without the support we get from the team here. And I mean it pa very passionately and that's why I wanted to speak about it. I feel that there is such genuine attention and care given by the nurses who know my son since he was a baby, by the physiotherapist, by the psychologist, by the dietitian, by the lung function specialist, by the doctors. And I, I think that he comes in here almost feeling like it's his home and that he, it's no stress to come here. It's a pleasure. He, he, he likes it. Um, and I think that has been a massive um, crutch to us. To, uh, and support. So uh, I think my key message is um, that with, with Tala has been marvellous for us. The National Children's Hospital has helped us so much. I mean, if you had seen Leah Walsh, Leah ran. She danced, she sang, she cursed like a trooper. She could say things that would make you feel, oh my God, let the ground open, let me go under it. I mean, she lit up the whole ward when she came in. Leah was eight and a half. And she died. In the arms of the Leah was diagnosed when she was eight weeks old. And Leah had cystic fibrosis.
and uh, we put her into the car and we were going past Brown's Barn and she just said, green fields, children. And I thought she was beginning to go to sleep, you know, and she just put her head against the window. And then I looked over her and I said, Leah, your feet are getting cold. And I lifted her onto my knee and her eyes were still closed. I said, oh, Jesus, Louie, I think she's dying. And um, he started to tell her that he loved her and that we really loved her so much and we let her go and that was the end of it. You're in the